In this stage we should create new family. We will choose new generic model. Let's draw a horizontal line above the axis in the plan view. Let's make dimensions and we'll add parameter for this dimension. In this moment, let's keep it open and we will open new one generic model. Okay, for now, let's uh, choose extrusion and we will draw a circle. In this moment we will put one more line above the circle. Okay, now we will mirror it. Now we should do um, curve line between these two lines. And again we will mirror it. Now we can trim and extend all this part of the shape. And once we make the extrusion, we should choose again another extrusion and after that pick lines and use the offset. As you see my offset is too large, so I will choose the smaller one. Now we will extend some lines and we will choose again, trim and extend. Ok, now we will load our clip to the, our previous project. We should uh, align 
After that, we will lock each one and let's make this another one. Okay, for now we use reference lines above the corner of the our clip and uh, now we copy it don't forget to put dimensions for each one and just remember the number of the dimension Okay, for now we will go to front view and we will use the extrusion and make the circle just a bit smaller of corners as you see. Uh, let's make the material, don't forget it's uh, only type. Okay, going to top view and as you see it's a bit smaller. Let's put in the middle, uh, delete our dimensions, put a bit under and connect it and lock. And let's do the same thing with that line. We're doing that for connect to our reference line to the child circle. Okay, let's put again dimensions, now we see the different number. We should change, if you remember it was 89. So ch let's change to 89 and lock it. Same here. 89 and lock it. And now when we will change the overall size, our middle one cable also will change. Let's see. Yes, it's working. Save it. Okay. Let's draw another mm, reference line and uh, go to user. Okay, and open the our clip. Oh, I'm sorry, a spider. Uh, we did it in previous movie. Good. Load to the. Loaded the new new project. Sorry, it was mistake. Other one. Put just somewhere, not in the middle, cause we should lock it. Okay, now align it to middle line, lock it, and to reference line and lock it. Make the same parameter for that one. Yes, it's working already. Put the same line. And as you remember, it's 89. For my project, actually, for you, it will be another one. Let's put 89 and we'll lock it. As you see, it's connect. Yeah. This is pretty good.
Okay, let's do again new generic model, and we should load our previous one spider. What we did. Okay, load it. Just put somewhere not in the middle. Use a line. Align it in the middle line. Middle line middle. Okay, lock it and corner of the clip. Uh, line to reference line. Draw other reference line. Put the some dimensions. Okay, we should uh, add the parameter for this dimension. Let's click OK after that. OK. For now, we'll put one more and uh, let's do same thing, align to middle by middle and corner by corner and don't forget lock it everything corner by corner lock it okay so for now we will put the reference line by center of the circle because we should uh, make the truss put some dimension yeah for now we should lock it um, one more parameter for this middle line let's make this parameter let's change it should do work nope Because uh, as you remember, when uh, you load uh, your project, you should make uh, new parameters again. So just use the parameter, change the number. Yes, now it's working. Save it. And now we'll put the line just just see it should uh, cross both the line so our both the line should be blue, be blue if it's not working just a bit continue line Some, so, sometimes it's happened after that it might be work again line top top yeah see it's cross one and make x line top yes again top and okay let's finish now for now if you change the size the lines should simulate it okay this is working a bit continue for make this useful. 